Alrighty, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome back. Another, yes, that's right, Core 21 box opening. Box number three out of the first case. Um, the last one was not bad at all. The foil to fairy was very, very nice. Um, let's see if we can do better. I don't know what we can do better wise, though. I really don't. Um, I mean, I don't know if there's an alternate art. And by this time, you've seen me open my uh, collector's uh, edition box. So I won't spoil that for you, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that video as well. And don't forget, this whole month we are doing giveaways for subscribers, every 50 subscribers that um, stay on the channel. <laughs> we do a giveaway and and you don't have to do anything to be entered you just have to be subscribed all right our packs our play mat and our first pack Let's go here. Let's let's see. And as as with the last video, we're just going to go through the commons really quickly. Well, right off the bat, I like having a uh, alternate art Garrick Scorehorn. I'm trying to make sure that we can see all the cards that are coming out. I think we got it. I think we can get artifact there. Yep, I think we're good. All right, our first in common, Mr. Bad Deal. Our next in common, Wildwood Scourge. And our last in common, before we see what our first rare of box number three is, is Kinetic Augur with a Volcanic Salvo. I think that could, I, I really do think that could, that could be good in a, in a green green red deck. A nice gruel deck. And we have a foil already. A Gale Swooper. And then over here we will have our tokens and our uh, regular lands. So we have gold, lands. Yes, we are good. You guys don't need to see the tokens in basic lands. So if you do, too bad. Um, but once again, I'd like everybody to remind everybody to go ahead and subscribe because, like I said, we will be doing giveaways all this month, uh, every 50 subscribers. Um, and that will be anything from arena codes for sleeves and packs to um, regular packs and sleeves if you prefer to do paper magic. Um, and uh, you'll also be able to get uh, free entries for those if you uh, go and follow me on... Um, my UpLive account as Wildman X. It's going to be a cross-platform type of uh, giveaway. So, and there will be a giveaway on there as well. So for stuff on that platform. Um, Sanctum of Calm Waters is our first uncommon. Meteorite, our second. And Teferi's Tutelage as our third. Our rare is Pack Leader. Sir, whatever, whatever his name is. And we got a mountain and a treasure token. Um, but yeah, make sure you follow me on my other uh, uh, platforms. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, Uplife as Wildman X, where I broadcast daily. And you can check me out there. Lots of things to do there. We have lots of fun as the Madhouse. Um, that is our agency. And if you have any questions, please comment below. And while you're doing that, you can go ahead and subscribe. See, it's that easy, folks. It's There's nothing to it. It's like one, two, three. Like, subscribe, comment. It's all that good stuff. Oh, that was already our first uncommon. I was going too quick. Uh, Griffin Airy. Second uncommon is Unleash Fury. And a seasoned Hallow Blade fills out our uncommons with 
Gadric, the Crown Scourge, the Dragon, the Legendary Dragon as our rare. And we have a full oh god. You know that's going to be worth some cashola. A foil alternate art mountain. Oh, yes. That is money in the bank, people. Money in the bank. All right, token. So what have you guys got now that we're into, what, uh, two weeks since official release? What have you guys got, poll-wise? Uh, whether doing drafting, whether doing packs, anything cool? Anything astounding? Um, and what do you think about the, the uh, standard format right now? I mean, there may have been bannings by the time this comes out, because um, this is two weeks after release, but I doubt they're going to ban anything right off the bat because they want to sell stuff. They want to make a monies. Um, Alpine Houndmaster is our first uncommon. Wow, followed by the Conclave Mentor, who is really good. And the Malefic Scythe. Our rare is a Bane Slayer. Yes! Bane Slayer, the comeback of the Bane Slayer Angel. Man, what was that? M10 was the last time she was released, I think. So good. So choice. And a Thrill of Possibility foil. And our land and token. But yeah, I mean, there was so many good reprints in M21, and with the brokenness of uh, the mechanics and creatures and Ikoria, I just think the format is just bonkers right now, until, and maybe even after rotation in September. I mean, it just seems like there's just too many good cards out between Throne of Eldraine, Ikoria, I'm not going to say anything about Theros, because Theros was kind of meh. Um, and then Core 21, just like solid, solid set, guys. All right, our first uncommon is Invigorating Surge. Followed by Jeskaya Elder, Leafkin Avenger. And our rare is Subira, Tulzidi Caravaner. I think we've had one or two of her as well. Another foil, another red foil, Chandra's Pyroline. Tranquil Grove, or Tranquil Cove, I'm sorry. And, ooh, I think that's the first pirate token I've seen out of three boxes. That's pretty cool. This creature can't block. Creatures you control attack each combat if able. Wow, okay. Mr. Pirate taking the commanding lead there saying, you attack, bitch. You, and you, and you, and you, you going down. That's what he's saying. Um, but um, hopefully, so this is going to be released towards the end of July. And hopefully a lot of things have changed. Hopefully we're back to a little bit normal, though. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking that there's they've, they've reopened and there's resurgences and higher case counts. It just seems that it doesn't want to go away. Chandra's Pyroline is our first uncommon. Pestilent Haze is our second uncommon. Followed by Dire Fleet Warmonger, our rare. Ready for it? Terror of the Peaks. Is that another dragon? Another rare dragon. Wow. No, that's a mythic dragon. I'm sorry. That's a mythic dragon. So what makes him mythic? He's a 5-4 five, for 5. Flying, okay. Spells your opponent cast that target Terror of the Peaks costs an additional three life. Three life, so it can't be prevented to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. Okay, pretty solid. I'll, I'll give it the mythic. I'll give it the mythic rating. And a beast token. But yeah, it's it's been it's been pretty good. Um, gone to the F and M a couple times now that they've reopened. It's been a lot of fun. A little EDH action, always enjoyable. Um, and a lot of these cards you're going to see in EDH decks, guys. You're going to see these swallowed whole by EDH decks. Or I should I'm sorry for those of you who aren't old school commander commander decks. 
Um, Tempered Veteran is our first uncommon. And the ever popular Witch's Cauldron. Followed by a Waker of Waves. Our last, uh, our, our, I mean our next rare is a Garuk Unleashed. So you know me and my green. He's going in there. Uh, I mean just that first ability. So you get a little guy and you just pump the shit out of him. There's our alternate art swamp. Can I see? Yeah, we can see that right there. Okay, that's good. And a cat token. I do love that green cat token. That in the in the um, weird or is it weirdly? Just phenomenal artwork on those two guys. Um, and we're still so far. It's been proven that you get one of these, one of each of the lands in in a box. So you get five of those special art lands per box, uh, one of each, thus far. It has not been m disproved, and but, so let me know if that's the case for you. If you've got one, a box or something, that you didn't get that, I'd like to know. All right, our first uncommon, Palladium Mirrors. Our second one is a lore scale Quaddle. And last but not least for the uncommons in that pack, Faith's feathers, fetters, followed by our rare of a temple. Yay for temples, guys! Saw a foil swamp and our dismal backwater and a zombie token. <laughs> yeah, if you guys are getting any type of, if you guys are getting any type of patterns, please post them below. Let me know. I mean, I still got. Uh, at this point, what, nine more boxes? So uh, we're going to see a lot. Oh, another Liliana uh, Steward for the alternate art. We're going to see a lot of possible patterns. I would like to know if they are verified beyond my small scope. Um, our first uncommon is um, uns, um, yo, 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 unsubstantiate. Um, Epitaph Gollum. Wow, my speech is gone, guys. Avon Gagglemaster and our rare is a Hooded Blightfang. Followed by a foil, bad deal. And there's the forest, so we got the swamp, and, and there's the weird. That artwork is just so awesome, guys. I'm not lying. I love that artwork. That and the cat. Are, are like two amazing token artworks. I, I do appreciate the art in Magic. It's one of the things that has kept me drawn to it throughout the 25, 26 years. 26 years that I've been playing it. Wow, yeah, since 1994. Holy cow. Yes, I'm dating myself, people. But that's fine. I, I have no qualms. Um, yeah, 26 years of Magic. You know, I've taken my breaks. Everybody does here and there. Um, our first uncommon is a Hellkite Punisher. Lots of lots of dragons too. I mean, usually you have your one core dragon. There's a lot of dragons. Jeskai Elder and Siege Striker. Our rare is Ujin. Yes, Ujin. Another bring back. That is. Um, so good in so many ways. I don't have a colorless pile. I will put it with the artifact right now. Wow, our, and that pack was just packed full of goodness. Uh, foil Subiri. Oh, Subira. Uh, rare. So definitely, definitely that was a good pack. With Ujin. Um, and that, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at maybe, maybe a B to a B plus, and we aren't even through the first uh, stack, guys. We're only on pack 11. Pack 11. And we already got Ujin and a uh, foil rare. So I'm, I'm decently uh, pleased with it thus far. This box. Sorry, Ujin. I had to cover you up. All right. Furious Rise is our first uncommon. Followed by Experimental Overload. Twin Blade Assassins and our rare is another temple. That's what's going to kill this is how many temples I get. Oh 
gonna get sick of temples, guys. All right, pack number 12. First row completed right here. And like I said, we've already got decent stuff, so I can't complain too much. Shock. Always bringing back the shock. Dub. Dub. All right. First uncommon, Garuk's Uprising. Second one is Miscast. And last uncommon of the pack, Teferi's Tutelage. Our rare being nine lives. So I have not seen this one, and I haven't really looked at the set overall. Well, at this point I have, but when this video, well, when this video premieres, I haven't. So, or I have, but I haven't when I made this video. Uh, you know what I mean. So a rare cat, right? Or just an enchantment. Okay, never mind. Hexproof. If a source would deal damage to you, prevent that damage and put an incarnation counter on nine lives. When there are nine or more incarnation counters on nine lives, exile it. When nine lives leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Oh, wow. That's, that's horrible. That's, that's completely horrible. Why would anybody ever want to play that? Avon Gaggle Master Foil. I, I would never play that. What what in the world are are you thinking if you play that? Holy cow. I mean, there's so many board wipes that could just Oh, here, let me board wipe. Oh, you lose the game too? Awesome. Yeah, no. I don't think that's going to be played. <laughs> no offense nine lives, but and I don't know what you were thinking. Because, like, what if they attack with nine one one creatures? Oh, look. Or, or, um, Cavalcade of Calamity with nine one ones. Yeah, probably not gonna be played, people. Not going to be played. That almost makes me want to downgrade the box. Holy cow. Alright. Our uncommons. Archfiend's Vessel, which is very good. Tide Skimmer. And a Heartfire Emulator, followed by our rare of the pack people is a Brash Taunter. So I want to see if he gets put into some, um, like, modern and or vintage Goblin decks. I don't think he's quite good enough, but he could be. I mean, I think... I mean, yes, he's indestructible, but a 1-1 one, one goblin for 5 just seems... I mean, you could you could, you could could goad him out with other goblin cards, obviously, and that's, that's where I think he might find a home, but... Pride Malkins, yes. Those were really good and um, limited. You'll see some more of my limited play as well, or you already have, I'm sorry, by the time this has come out, a Teferi's Proje alternate art. Uh, and then we go on to our uncommons of Bad Deal. Canopy Stalker. A Kinetic Augur. And our rare is a Feline Sovereign. All right. We're getting all the cats here. Ooh, there's a Liliana Walker of the Dead uh, token, or not token, um, emblem. First one of those we've seen, so we've seen the pirate and Liliana emblem in this box. That's pretty good. Um, I like seeing first that I haven't seen yet, because once you get to about three or four boxes, you start seeing a lot of repetitiveness, which is fine. I mean, I'm getting my play sets, I'm getting stuff to sell. Um, our first uncommon uh, of this pack, Obsessive Stitcher. Followed by a Watcher of the Spheres and a Carrion Grub, and our rare is See the Truth. Which, once again, I thought was a really bad card. There's our island, so we got Forest Swamp Island. Um, but it actually isn't too bad. It really isn't too bad. And as I was saying, so a lot of these cards will be sold. Um, 
If you want to uh, go ahead and find out where you can purchase them, I do have my link to my TCG player uh, inventory up. Feel free to go ahead and uh, go there and visit that. And while you're looking at all those links down there in the, in, in the uh, intro section, you can go ahead and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, UpLive. UpLive, we're doing a giveaway. Um, as well as a giveaway on here. All you have to do is subscribe on here and for UpLive you have to just go over there and make sure you're subscribed here and you get both. Alright, so our uncommons are Chrome Replicator, Siege Striker, whoops, we, we kind of skipped right to Baron, um, Havoc Jester, and then of course Baron Tolarian Archmage. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the giveaway as far as um, every 50 subscribers. I'll be giving away either arena codes for packs or arena codes for sleeves. Or if you prefer paper magic, I will get your address and stuff from, for, from you and send you some sleeves or packs or something along those lines. So get your friends to subscribe. Um, make sure that you're... Uh, going through and uh, enjoying all that I have to offer along with not only the unboxing but uh, my arena videos as well as gaming videos uh, just some shenanigan videos lots of different things to see our first in common is Trader's Creed followed by Havoc Jester a Shipwreck Dowser and our rare is an Idol of Endurance again all right, I think that's either three or four of those, but you know what? I'm, that's what I'm building my play sets. I'm building my pit play sets, except for Teferi, because I absolutely abhor Teferi. He should have been killed by Urza long ago, in my opinion. He should have been taken out by Joira. She should have been like, nah, you're not worth it. Pew, pew, pew. But my thought is that Teferi is going to join uh, Mr. Karn in returning to New Phyrexia to take it back and restore it to New Mirrodin in not this fall, but next fall's continuing saga of Magic the Gathering. All right, our first uncommon, Cultivate. Next is Light of Promise. Followed by a Wildwood Scourge, and our rare is Kervik the Spiteful. So I got him a, in a draft the other day, and I never got to see him. I, I mean, I wanted to. Trust me, I really, really wanted to. He just never popped up for me. Speaking of drafts, please remember to always go and support your local gaming store. For those of you who are fortunate enough to still have one, a lot of shops actually had to close their doors during this uh, pandemic and never to reopen. So, um, again, please support your local gaming store because you never know. If, if you don't, you might be the one person that could have saved it from closing its doors. Um, I will always say and always trust to go to the local gaming stores. You, it's not only the camaraderie, but they're providing you a place for you to meet new people, have fun, enjoy this game that we all love and hate at the same time. Uh, so a Skyway Sniper is our first uncommon, followed by Riddle Form and Angelica Ascension. Our rare is going to be Basre's Lieutenant, a human knight. Vigilance protection from multicolored. When Basri's lieutenant enters the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. And then whenever Basri's lieutenant or another creature you control dies, if it had a plus one plus one counter on it, create a two two. Wow, white knight creature token with vigilance. That's pretty good. I mean, for four, I'm, I, I won't say that's a solid card. Definitely find its way into some. Uh, tier 2 or tier 1 decks in, in standard. And he's a knight, so obviously with Throne, we still got all our knights out there. 
Um, yeah, so that's the other thing, guys. Let me know what kind of decks you're building. We're now into our uh, second full-on week of uh, standard with uh, Core 21 in it. So lots of decks have formed. Lots of interesting uh, new mechanics or new combos that people are triggering, especially with shrines. Speaking of which, Sanctum of the Stone Fangs is our first uncommon. Basri's Solidarity is our second. And the Battle Rattle Shaman, our rare, being Volcanic Salvo. And I think it was the second one already of, of this, which is weird. I usually don't get a lot of repeats of rares in a single box. This, this collation has been different, though. Like, I get two of rares, and then, yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. You guys have been getting the same thing when you open your boxes? Let me know if you are. I'd love to hear from you. And again, you can do that in the comments below. And while you're down there and making sure you are doing a hand check, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. And follow me on all my other platforms. Uh, Light of Promise is our first uncommon. Leafkin Avenger. And Sanctum of Fruitful Harvest. Another group shrine, the green one. Shacklegeist is our rare. And a Jungle Hollow and Arena token card. I should say Arena advertisement card is what it is, really. Speaking of Arena... So we are doing the giveaway. Every 50 subscribers, I'm doing either packs or sleeves or um, if you prefer paper magic, I will send uh, stuff to your physical address, including packs and sleeves. Um, got to get the subscriptions up there. I've already got people watching. I just need you guys to help out. Fungal Rebirth is our first uncommon. Followed by a Tavern's, Tavern Swindler and the Gourmand. Our rare being Ruined Halo. The enchantment. As Ruined Halo enters the battlefield, choose a card name. You have protection from the chosen card name. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. Seems okay for its casting cost. I don't know if it... If it belongs in the rare slot, you know, I mean, especially with the power creep level of most of the rest of the set. I mean, look at Mangara, right? Look at Teferi, look at, uh, just look at some of the, even, even some of the uncommons are just out there with power level creep. We are almost done with the second stack of, uh, packs. Our first uncommon is Invigorating Surge, Selfless Savior, and Seasoned Hallow Blade with the rare bean. Uh, temple, yay for temples, right? Woohoo! Everybody loves temples because you have 5 billion of them by now. If you play on a regular basis and you crack packs or uh, to get your cards, and the, the whole thing I started with. Um, as far as like cracking um so like you know you end up like if you don't if you don't crack and you want certain cards you're going to spend money right so instead of spending that money on on individual cards you buy a box a box you might not you may or may not get the cards you want right given but you got resale value and you may get even potential like the foil to fairy last week you know that's like paid for half a box um or maybe a third of a box miscast is our first uncommon followed by warden of the woods eliminate is our last and our rare is a spore web weaver um there's the planes we got four we're just missing the mountain um but I started just buying by the by the box by the case early on. Like I realized the the significance uh, way back. I want to say probably revised um, of box buying, and even like to the point where maybe I won't crack a box. Maybe I will save it. Maybe I will save an entire case, which is what I do now. Um, 
and watch the price skyrocket. Um, it's it's a it's a it's a good investment opportunity only if you have the ability to do it and maintain it. Chandra's Magmut, um, alternate art. And our first uncommon is Tempered Veteran, followed by Gourmand, and Enthralling Hold, followed by our rare of Sublime Epiphany. All right. And a Demon Token. All right, we're down to our last 12 packs of this box, guys. And like I said, this this one's this one's uh, with the Ujin and the foil uh, legendary. I'm, I'm going to give it an A minus at the moment. But um, yeah, just lots of lots of things you can do when you start looking at the best investment opportunities. Um, and as I said before, any uh, any, if not all of these cards, are going to be on my TCG player site in the link below. Um, I have over 100,000 cards listed on there right now, and it just keeps growing day by day, especially when I do tracks like this, or when a new set comes out. Uh, Garrick's Uprising was our first uncommon, followed by Miscast and Liliana's Devotee. Our rare is Demonic Embrace, and I think I saw a foil. I did a Silent Dart foil. Saproline and a Tranquil Cove. But yeah, you guys, if you could please leave comments below. I, you know, I, I do appreciate the subscriptions and you get entered into drawings and giveaways if you subscribe. But it's not necessary. I just like the comments. I like to know what you guys are thinking. I like to know, hear what you guys are playing or um, what you think of the video. It'd be very much appreciated. I have taken constructive criticism, aka feedback, very well. Um, Vryn Wingmare is our first uncommon. A Volcanic Geyser, followed by Riddle Form and our rare, is Peer into the Abyss, which I also believe is our second Peer of, into the Abyss for this box. Like I said, seems like I'm getting a lot of the two of rares per box. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. You guys tell me if that's what you're getting as well. And this is box number three and it seems pretty consistent. It seems pretty consistent with the full set of uh, alternate art lands in each box and it also seems uh, pretty secure in um, getting those two ofs of rares in each box. Other than that, yeah, I mean, they are, they seem pretty random. Uh, Unleash Fury is our first uncommon. Canopy Stalker is our second. Burl Fist Oak is our third, followed by our rare of Nyamba. So I know I got more than a playset of her. Swamp and a Soldier Token. All right, we're down to the last, last six packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight packs, guys. Eight packs. So let's see if we can upgrade this from an A minus to an A or possibly an A plus. A plus is going to take a lot, though. Not going to lie. <coughs> All right, our uncommons Kite Sail Freebooter, Fierce Empath, Warden of the Woods. And our rare is a hey, yay hey, another temple oh oh temple temple temples I have so many temples guys I'll 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 send you temples if you want temples I'll send you temples man between like Theros and this and I think they were in the last course I don't know there's so many so many temples I mean they got so many lands that they can choose to reprint. Like hell, go back to uh, reprinting some of the um, uh, uh, what are they? The like the um, the 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 uh, M M lands. I'll call them the M lands. That were rares. Those are good. They held their value. All right. Uncommons. Griffin Airy. Kite sail freebooter. 
Reign of Revelation and our rare is Heroic Intervention. I think there's a foil there somewhere. There is. There's a Gloom Sower. And our land and a bird token. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Birdie, birdie, birdie. I'm also going to be doing a lot more. Um, you guys probably have already noticed if you follow it all or subscribe. But a lot more different type of openings. There's going to be special openings. There's going to be um, all the secret layer openings. There's going to be special box openings. There's going to be uh, eBay auctions and uh, collections I've picked up. Go through them. Um, you guys have probably already seen a couple of those if you look at any of the videos. Plenty to see there. Plenty to watch. You can watch for days on end if you want, guys. What else do you have to do? <laughs> Alright, first uncommon, Hellkite Punisher. Second uncommon, Bolthound. And our third uncommon of the pack is enthralling, enthralling Hold with our rare being a Radha. And I do like Radha. I'm not going to lie. I do like Radha. And I'm probably going to build a nice little Gruel deck around her. Or at least a Gruel deck that includes her. Just like, here, let's just keep throwing lands in. She needs a Trample ability, though. That would probably be too much, wouldn't it, guys? Yeah, I'm asking for a little bit too much. I really, really am. Want, want, want. That's all magic players say. Want, want, want. Basri's Outflight alternate art. And our own commons are Bring Wingmare, Rewind, the Silver Smoked Ghoul, who is so good, and he's a zombie vampire. Think about the combinations you can do with that. Our rare is Conspicuous Snoop. So another goblin that could potentially show up in modern formats. Um, don't think vintage, but play with the top card of your library revealed. You may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. As long as the top card of your library is a goblin card, Conspicu Conspicuous Snoop has all activated abilities of that card. So, yeah, I think, I think you will see him... Uh, rotate into those goblin decks. I have actually won big time uh, legacy tournaments um, with goblins. So goblins is like the only deck of, of vintage that vintage legacy that I have put together at the moment and it is probably the one that will never get tearing apart just modified as we go along and get new cards and with and and the thing is the power creep in a core set just usually doesn't happen usually core sets are a bunch of junk but man they've stepped it up the last couple of years uh falconeer adept is our first uncommon followed by eliminate and tolerian kraken our rare is a Kervik the spiteful and it looks like a full art it is it's a cultivate full art it's not a foil cultivate, but it is a cultivate, which qualifies it as a rare, believe it or not, folks. So they've done that with a couple cards, I guess. They've they've changed because of the alter alternate artwork on it. It becomes a rarer card. And those cultivates, I'm I'm telling you, th those are going to go up because they just look freaking awesome. And who wants to play with a common cultivate right i mean really if you got the choice you want to play with the rare um teferi's protege um alternate art our first uncommon is sanctum of the shattered heights indulging patrician followed by volcanic geyser another reprint and our rare speaker of the heavens so a one one for one uh, white Vigilance Lifelink and tap to create a 4-4 White Angel Creature Token with Flying. Activate this ability only if you have at least 7 life more than your starting life total. And only any time you can cast a Sorcery. But still, guys, he's amazeballs. Um, a Voldalian Arcanist as our uh, foil. And then Swamp and an Angel Token. Last two packs of this uh, of this one, guys. Let us see how it goes. 
So once again, please leave your comments below um, on what you like, what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. Um, what you, what you, what you want. That's all I can say, guys. What you, what you, what you want. Um, and while you're down there and doing, doing those type of things down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we do have giveaways if you're a subscriber. And you know what? I, I think I, at this point I'm going to say uh, not only every 50 subscribers and not only this month, but an ongoing campaign. What do you guys think about that? Uh, just giveaways all the time. Tormod's Crypt is our first uncommon. Query and Dryad is our second. A Soul Seer is our last. And our Fabled Passage, another reprint. But the, I think they... See, I don't know, because it's going to rotate the same time as Throne does. So I don't know if it was a decent choice for a reprint. I mean, I think people want them. But uh, in that same instance, they're both going to rotate out at the same time. Unless they do it in Core 2022. All right, last pack. I don't know, that that rare, that extra rare Cultivate, that I think moved it up to an A. So if we can get something amazeballs in this last pack, guys, that will definitely uh, boost it up to an A+. Plus. But watch, we're probably going to get a Temple. I called it. Let's see what happens. Um, we got a shrine, uh, shrine, a Sanctum of Tranquil Light for our first uncommon. We have got a Liliana's Devotee as our second common. And as our last uncommon, a Thrashing Brontodon. What is he going to reveal as our rare? It is... Nope, it's a Thieves Guild Enforcer. Okay. Okie dokies. Not, not, not what I was expecting, but okie dokies. Alright, there you guys have it. Um, like I said, that box was about an A because we had the Ugin, we had the uh, Foil Rare... Uh, legendary, uh, what was her name? Sid, Sid something? Subiri. You know what, though? We did not get our full playset. We are missing our mountain. Or did I screw up? I, th I, th I don't think we got our mountain. I did not screw up. Wow, so we did not get our full playset out of that. Or, not playset, but our full uh, range. Um, so once again, guys, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, follow me on all my other medias that are also listed below, and um, don't forget, give away every 50 subscribers. Um, details are below as well. I want to thank you all for joining me on box number three, and you all have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and each other.